What's up YouTube? This is Bait here back again with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. And this time against my boy Wishbone, the Wishbone. Be sure to check out check him out after this battle. But uh this was a standard OU match that we had at Rick's live stream, because uh I was like I haven't had a standard match in a long time, so Wishbone was there at the call, so I was like, hey, let's have a battle. And uh, we actually both used uh, mostly the guys of uh, Wild Chase's OU database that he released some time ago. He actually solved like all of the standard Wild Ball Smogun sets and just released them on public. So you can just uh, download those, and if you have Pokesop, you can use them. I will actually leave a link to that video as well. But uh, I guess without further ado, let's get this battle started. And uh, actually, funny thing, neither of us uh, brought like sand or rain, so we are going to have a standard battle, weather free, which is going to be a lot of fun. But uh, we both lead off with our steel psychic guys. He leads off with Bronzong, I lead off with Metagross. And uh, we are just going to set up rocks. I switch into my Scrafty. Zuruzuking, still have the Japanese name, but whatever. And. Um, I know that I can pretty much take any hits, so I'm just gonna go with the sub here. This is actually a bit of a custom set that I make myself. Sub tree attacks, but uh, I totally forgot that he had this uh, Skarmory, which is of course at this point of the game, this early, you know, it's just totally going to wall me. So I'm just gonna go with the Train Punch, get a, you know, at least a bit of HP back before he whirlwinds me out. And of course, in comes my Metagross, which can't really touch this uh, Skarmory. So I'm forced to uh, switch out again, so I send out my uh, Starmie. At least I have a bit of damage on the Skarmory, so uh, you know, it doesn't have its sturdy, so I should be able to KO with a Thunder that I have on this Starmie, because this actually, I found it on, on my box, this is a Gravity Starmie, <laughs> and uh, it doesn't really pay off here, because my Thunder misses, he's gonna get off a Brave Bird. And he still has this Skarmory very much alive, so that really sucks, because I could have taken this Skarmory right, right out, right off the bat. But uh, he doesn't have any steel type, so I'm just gonna go with the Thunder, you know, may get the, I may get the Parahax also. Don't happen on this Hax God Jiraji. And uh, I'm just gonna go with the Hydro Bomb by the damage that the Thunder did, and this Hydro Bomb, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's uh, one of those especially defensive rushes and he's gonna go with the body slam gets a crit but no para yes no para which is amazing so uh i'm just gonna go with the hydro bomb um, by the looks of it, it it's like a three ko and he's gonna make a wish that is the wish bone and uh i'm just really hoping that i don't get like min damage here so i should be able to take him out and you know it was a three hit ko off the first hunter which is great so I do get off the Jirachi out of the way this early in the game, which is amazing. So in comes Scizor, and I'm just gonna stay and go with the Hydro Bump, and uh, you know, I was kind of thinking he would just bullet punch, and I was like, I'm just gonna stay in as a fodder regardless, because you know, I'm gonna die to Stealth Rocks and Spikes most likely. Although, I don't, I'm not sure, I may be just barely able to live, but you know, I don't really see the point. But I do get off the Hydro Bump, and the Switch Advantage, since he goes with the U-turn. So in comes Terrakion, I send out Mens for the Intimidate and then switch out into my uh, Koyondo or Mianxiao and because uh, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go with the Stone Edge and uh, that's what he does but I don't really take it too well but he doesn't want to risk it you know if it doesn't KO so he actually switches into Skarmory and High Jump Kick is actually a 2 hit KO which is nice and uh, don't get any min damage shenanigans again, so I do take him out, but I am scarfed, so he can just go into his uh, Latias here and uh, set up a free substitute uh, on the switch as I go into my Metacross. And uh, at this point, you know, this is kind of good at a bad and a bad thing at the same time, you know, the bad news is that he has free sub, but uh, the good news is I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, especially after now that I see the recover, I'm pretty sure he can't really do much to me, because uh, this is most likely one of those, um, yeah, uh, sub calm mind, and then recover, and then uh, Dragon Pulse as the only attack, so it's a mono attacking, you know, uh, Latias, and, you know, I can pretty much wall it with Metagross unless I give him, like, six calm minds. And my uh, 
my what you call it, my meteor mash mishish mishish on the mish which, which to uh, Zizor. But then I just KO him with uh, a hammer arm, and uh, he's gonna just go into his uh, Terra Keon here on the you know free switch, and I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go with the EQ. So I go into my mens again. Save switch, also get the Intimidate, and I'll also at this point I'm pretty sure that this uh, Terrakion is Scarfed. But uh, I'm just gonna play it safe and uh, make a wish here, why not, you know, battling against the Wishbone. So I decided to bring Wishmans. And uh, I'm just gonna, go, just gonna go with the Flamethrower, because I was like, hey, Flamethrower should do a decent chunk. But then I was like, wait a minute, if he ha does he have HPIs? And of course he does. But Mens just barely lives. So Bulky Wish Mens for the win. This is amazing. I just barely survived the hit. And now I'm like, okay, let's let's switch out, because you know I can still use this Mens against his um Terra Keon for the intimidate, and you know I can resist uh, uh many of his moves like EQ and uh, close combat. And uh, so I switch into my Scrafty here. And uh, hopefully I should be able to make a sub, and my substitute should be able to uh, take a hit. And I actually does, which is like amazing. So I was like, if lucky, you know, I might be able to pull off a scrafty sweep here. Because, you know, I can just keep making free substitutes. I can uh, keep getting my health back with, uh, with train punches. And he doesn't have reliable recovery on this guy. So, you know... Uh, I can now stall him and uh, you know maybe have that free sub. So I'm gonna set it up again as he breaks it with Gyro Ball, but then he gets a critical hit. So I'm like crap. So no free sub, but you know at least I was able to avoid the most certain death here because he would have been able to just KO me. But uh, you know substitute saved my life here, so that's awesome. But I won't be able to get off a free sub, so. When I take this uh, Bronzong out, he's gonna be able to pretty much revenge kill me with anything. Most likely with that uh, Terra Keon. But I'm just gonna keep on uh, train punching. He's gonna go with the Gyro Ball, and you know it does it does too much. I ca I cannot make a sub at this point anymore, which is really unfortunate. So I'm just gonna go just gonna go with the uh, train punch, and from this range, it's gonna be enough to take him out. But that will also uh, give him a chance to go into his um, uh, Terra Keon here. So, uh, you know, Moxie doesn't really help me at this point, unfortunately. So he's gonna go into his uh, Terra Keon, just go with that uh, CC, take, him up, take me out. And, you know, I didn't really want to switch into my mens at this point, because I wasn't really sure if I would be able to take off, uh, survive the uh, Stealth Rock damage and two close combats that are stat from uh, Terra Keon, but uh, judging by the damage here, you know, I just barely may have been able to. And uh, here I just used uh, Dragon Tail, but I missed, which is like, no, it would have actually done like a decent chunk. But, you know, wh whatever, <laughs> no can do. So, because um, I was, I was kind of thinking, and. Uh, Thinking about staying in as a fodder at this point, but you know, Dragon Tail misses, then I make a wish, and uh, he goes into his uh, Latias, and uh, I'm not gonna give him a free sub, so instead of uh, protecting, I'm just gonna go with the uh, uh, Dragon Tail just to, you know, break the sub that he does do. And uh, now that I have pretty much almost back to full health, I'm gonna switch, you know, I can still use this thing against his. Uh, against his uh, own Terrakion, and I bring out my own Terrakion here. Because I was kind of thinking, you know, I was thinking that I would be faster here, first of all, but he makes uh, he makes the first move and goes with the substitute as I go with the Stone Edge, and I was like, whoa, so this thing is like... I have actually no idea, because I haven't really followed Smurgen that much, but uh, apparently it's like, I'm kind of thinking like max HP, Max Beard Latias, apparently, but uh, I'm just gonna, just for the lols, I'm gonna use Rock Polish just to be faster so that I, you know, he won't be, you know, going first and, you know, I can just put the pressure on him just to take me out at this point and I'm just, just gonna go with the CC, you know, it should be enough to break the sob and, you know, don't have to risk the Stone Edge missing, 
So I do take off the sub, he KOs me, and uh, now I should be able to take him out with my uh, scarfed uh, Kojondo's U-turn. Uh, and uh, it will KO from this range, which is amazing. So uh, now his last guy I think is Terrakion, and I'm just gonna send out my Salamence. You know, um, unfortunately I won't be getting that Intimidate, but you know, I can just force him to lock himself into a move and then just go from there and he does decide to lock himself into Stone Edge. And I do have Metagross and my Mian Shao. And at this point I'm just gonna bring out my Mian Shao. And also I just wanted to see if he was really scarfed and uh, he is, he is scarfed. Because my uh, Gojundo Mian Shao is uh, scarfed as well. But the Stone Edge will not KO, it doesn't get a crit or anything, and I will KO back with a high jump kick, and that will be the game. So, good game, Wishbone. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this match. I figured, you know, I would bring a standard match, because I brought some uh, rotation matches uh, last week. But I actually do have uh, more rotation battles, but, you know, figured that the standard OU match would be fun, because I haven't posted one in a long, long time, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you did, leave that like rating, and um, I will see you guys next time, possibly with another rotation match. I actually have made few new teams, also if you people are interested in challenging me to rotation medals, just, you know, ask me on Skype. You know, I, I've been really getting into rotation matches, and, you know, I would like to have more. But, at this point I'm rambling, so... um. Thank you for watching again, please check out Wishbone, link will be in the description, and that will be all for today. So, I will see you guys next time, Spade is out, peace!